Hey everybody, this is Travis at the Steel Magnolia. I wanted to show you a couple of modifications that I've done to my Leisure Light XL camper. Uh, the first thing would be the awning, which I am standing underneath. And this past weekend, we were out and had some super, super heavy rains. And no matter what we did, the top kept pocketing large pockets of water. And so somebody had, had to actually stand underneath here and keep pushing the top up and getting the water to run off. No matter what we did, we couldn't prevent that from happening outside of just lowering the front end pretty much all the way down. Uh, I took fiberglass poles and made an X underneath it. Maybe you can see that from out here. And I took polyester webbing and sewed in loops so that gives a place for the for the rods to run through just just an alignment guide so they stay where I want them to stay in the corners back here by the tent there's actually a pocket I don't know if you'll be able to see it but that pole is going up into the pocket okay zipped across there's the other one there. So you can see how tight all this is and it's it's pointed upwards. It's really good. As you come down towards the end, I had originally put pockets in here, but I wasn't pleased with the way it all sat because it just kind of hung down. Uh, so what I ended up doing was mounting them so that they were connected to the pole itself. Okay. Let me show you what I used. This orange piece that you see here is nothing more than a one quarter inch uh, eye bolt. All right, very simple. It slides down over the top of the pole. So you would put this on first and slide, this would be the first thing to go on. And then you put everything together and this slides up inside the end of the metal ferrule here. That worked out really well. Just very happy with it. Uh, it is so self-supporting that you can even remove the center pole <laughs> and everything still stays up nice and level. So the center pole really isn't necessary for the awning to be up outside of just giving some stability in the wind perhaps, but uh, very pleased with that. Moving on. I also had concerns about people not being able to see the trailer. Uh, we tow it with our modified Outback that we do some off-roading in. And, uh, but in traffic, when people are looking over, when you're on the right-hand side of them, and they're looking over the dash or whatever, if by chance you're passing them on the right or they're on the left and slowing down, they have a hard time seeing the camper, okay? Uh, especially if they haven't already acknowledged that it's there, like they're coming up behind you. And so I put these poles on, and this is nothing more than half-inch PVC pipe. It comes down here to the bottom. And I had originally set all this up temporary, hence I just put some screws in it. And uh, I like it so well, I'm just going to leave it be for the time being. It's working good. But this is a threaded fitting, and it threads into here, and this is a half-inch threaded to three-quarter slip. And that tube goes all the way across. You can see that it's white under there. And I have two screws in it here and here that actually screw into that steel frame. And so far, it's worked like a champ. Uh, very, very happy with that. And... Uh, I know that it increases awareness because I had my wife driving the car and just looking at it and she says it's great. Plus the other thing is uh, I can't see the trailer when it's behind the Outback at all. Uh, this makes backing it and knowing that everything's good back there really, really easy. Okay, that's it for today. Hope everyone's having an amazing day and thanks for taking time to listen to this video. This is Travis at Steel Magnolia.